This is the video where we remove the stitch control knobs. So enjoy. Okay, here we are at the uh, stitch control knobs. And the first thing that I want to do in order to remove these is undo these two screws there. So that's what I'm going to do. It says to undo these two screws, so that's what we'll do. There's the one there. It's pretty loose. I don't want to take it all the way out. And here's the other one. And it's pretty loose. And then I have to undo that one there. I think I have to do that one. So I'll do that one and see if that will allow me to pull the, the knob selector shaft out. That's the shaft right there. These two screws are loosened as uh, per the instructions and so is that one. That one we are not going to loosen. That is the screw that secures the bushing right there that this shaft slides through, rotates through. We do have a screw back here and at the end of the, the, the stitch selector shaft and I'll show that to you right now. There's that screw right there. And it's a, you know, a normal lefty loosey, righty tighty. So I'm just going to undo it right now. There, it's not that long. All right, watch this. It's working and it's coming out. Here's a shaft right here. There it is. And see now that stuff is loose. So we can take that out, put that over there. So that is very interesting because now all this stuff is loose. All these followers and stuff. So, and that's how that fits together in there. Let me see if I'm getting a really good view of that. And I'm probably not. So that's what I'm focusing myself for future reference. I'm going to watch this later to remind myself of how this was. And it is sitting there. And this follower right here, it goes in right there. So it's kind of looped in like that. So now watch as I raise this because I'm able to lift the whole contraption, the lifter and the control thing and the follower right off the, that thing there. And then now there's the other one a little further back right there. And so now this one is the same kind of deal lift it up and slide it up just like that and how is that coming off there and that is that goes in like that and there's a screw there so that's the back one i'll put it over there so that's really interesting to me because i've never taken one of those apart before and i've been dying to do one for a long time and there's not a lot left on the machine, really, you know. It's, uh, it's really, really coming along. It's getting to the point where soon we will be able to give it a bath, shower. And now there's this. I can get the, the needle bar driving arm out. Cool. And then I hadn't realized there was a, a part right there also that slides right off. So I'm going to take that out, and that's with the back stack. So I'm pretty sure that goes right back there, like that. There's the parts all down there, just kind of lining them up. And I will itemize them. I'll be looking at the part numbers and checking to make sure that I have the right names, because in order to organize that, I'm going to have to, like to put it back together, I'm going to have to know how to do that. Watch this. I love this part. Look at that. Okay? It's right off. You can be able to clean it all. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? Let's get in closer for a, a better look. Wow, that is so nice just to be able to clean to that, to that level. The, the front end is empty, that's done, and 
and the, and the bottom is done. The hook and all that stuff is gone. So it's all, it's ready for a bath. It's ready for a shower, you know? I'm gonna do some more exploring and uh, the next video, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be, we're gonna be giving this machine the big dip. <laughs> Spa dry treatment and shine it up. And then we're gonna put it all back together, time it up and sew with it, stitch with it. And it's gonna work perfect. <laughs> hey, listen, I wanna thank you all for being here. I really do appreciate your viewing. Please subscribe and please do stay safe. Of course, have fun and come on back real soon. Adios amigos.